video is for the manual muscle test and length of quadratus plantae and the lumbricals. Quadratus plantae assists flexor digitorum longus in flexing toes two through five. However, for this video to try and take out that digitorum longus, we're gonna leave the ankle in a neutral position and not ask them to do any plantar flexion. What I'm gonna ask my partner to do while I hold the big toe is for her to flex toes two through five. Good, so we're looking for flexion at the metatarsal phalangeal and both proximal interphalangeal joints for this. So again, we'll get them to do that one more time. Good. For the brake test, I'm gonna be placing one finger on the distal phalanx of all toes, two through five, and asking them to hold this position while I resist for five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And again, I'm gonna place my fingers on her toes and ask for her to curl up against my resistance, like so, being our concentric. For the length position, using either your fingers or one object like your thumb, you're going to extend all four toes at the metatarsal and both proximal and distal interphalangeal joint, doing the length for quadratus plantae. For the lumbricals, again a complex motion, I'm going to show a slightly different position just as an idea of what actually we want the person to do. With my partner's toes, what I'd like her to do is try to push her toes exactly flat in versus a curling motion that we just did previously. So pushing them flat would be more lumbricals versus curling them in would be more flexor digitorum. All right, so I'm gonna bring her back up into the air and ask her to try to repeat that same action she just did. Excellent. For this muscle, we're going to be trying to resist the flexion at the metatarsal phalangeal joint by putting some resistance gently across the back of the toes as well to make sure they're not curling them in at the same time. So can you go ahead and start to do that action? Excellent. And I'm going to try to push the metatarsal phalangeal joints into extension. Three, two, and one and relax. Now again, I'm gonna push up against that proximal phalanx and ask her to curl her toes against resistance. Let's try that one more time and go ahead. Excellent. For the length position for the lumbricals, you might do this one toe at a time or you can do it as a group, but I will show both. I'm going to flex both the proximal and distal phalangeal joint while I extend the metatarsal phalangeal joint. That's for toe number two. Again, I'm going to repeat that by passively flexing the proximal distal while I extend the MTP, toe number three, and toe number four. For some people, you might try placing a finger or thumb across all joints and doing it all as one 